the honeybee. Scientists believe they're a vital part of the global ecosystem, as important to our lives as water, soil and oxygen. Most of us keep a safe distance, but Robert Post, like thousands of other beekeepers around the world, has a different relationship. Hmm. These African bees, like many others, are in trouble. Under pressure from pests, diseases, pollution and a shrinking food source, they're overworked. Bee researcher Mike Alsop says the stress is having a clear effect. Ten years ago they seemed to be bulletproof, invulnerable to, to any of the diseases. And, and now we are seeing that they, they are getting sick and maybe 10 or 20 percent of them are dying. At least 60 different types of fruit and vegetables rely on honeybees for pollination. A few hours of bee attention each year produces nearly two billion dollars worth of crops and keeps an estimated 500,000 people in work in South Africa alone. Without bees, the costs of producing most of our food using manpower to fertilize the plants would rise so high there would be an international food crisis. The best sign of the health of a bee population is how much honey it produces. Here in South Africa, it's roughly halved over the last 20 years and the problem's grown more acute recently. Two years ago, you could buy this jar of honey for just $3. Today, it's gonna to cost you six. These eucalyptus trees are virtually on the border of my property. Um, but if these are gonna come down as they are, we're just going to have to simply drive many, many kilometers further to, to try and find the equivalent nectar sources. And here's the problem. South Africa's bees get 90% of their food from gum trees like these ones. But the government says they use too much water and are damaging the environment. And they've begun the enormous task of felling around three million football pitches worth of invasive gum trees, apart from areas set aside for aesthetic or economic purpose, like bee food. We are not hell-bent on clearing every last one. We won't be able to anyway. But whatever the small print, the timber industry, legal and illegal, has begun chopping down valuable gums in areas where they're really protected, like here, leaving thousands of colonies to starve to death. If the world doesn't start planting um, bee-friendly plants, bee forage plants, then we are actually in deep trouble within a few years. The rising costs are pushing people out of the industry already, and that means there are less beekeepers like Robert to help defend the bee kingdom. Rosie Garthwaite, Al Jazeera, Stellenbosch.